turn the pump off and isolate it from the source. Loosen the gland bolt to give the power cable some slack so it won't become damaged when removing the cover. Remove the four screws as shown using a Torx screwdriver. There are two near the bottom of the pump and two near the nose of the pump. Remove the cover without putting strain on the mains electric cable. Cut the wires of the old pressure switch leaving only 5 to 10 centimeters of wire left near the pressure switch. Remove the old pressure switch and throw it away. Your new pressure switch comes with a connector, however this is not needed and can be cut off. Strip the ends of the wires on both the new pressure switch and also the old cables still on the pump. Remove the black protective cap and push the o-ring all the way down to the base of the thread. Screw the pressure switch into the pump, first by hand being careful not to cross thread it. And then tighten it up. Slide the heat shrink and solder sleeve onto each of the two wires of the pressure switch. Take one wire from the pressure switch and one wire from the pump and twist them together. It doesn't matter which one, then do it with the other ones. Slide the solder sleeve up until the silver ring covers the exposed wires. Heat the ends of the sleeve to make it shrink onto the wire. Heat the centre ring until it melts, soldering the two wires together. Slide the heat shrink over the joint and then heat it to make it shrink in place, making a watertight seal. While being careful not to trap any wires, replace the front cover. This is not a watertight area, so there are no seals to reseat. Replace and then tighten the four cover screws. Tighten the mains gland bolt to hold it in place. 